As you can see, even though I did three print head cleanings, my cyan and magenta ink still didn't work. Normally you will get three color patterns on this side, namely yellow, red, and blue. So what I'm going to do next is, clean the print head at a more powerful level. To do this, we go to the search bar. Then type control panel. Okay, here it is. You will be taken to the control panel menu. And then select hardware and sounds. Then click on devices and printers. Okay guys, in the devices and printer menu, Select the Epson printer you are using and make sure the driver is installed. Right click on your Epson printer, then select Printing Preferences. Okay, after that, in the Preferences menu, go to the Maintenance tab. It is called Powering Flushing, or in some other types of Epson printers, it is also called Power Cleaning. Before starting it, check the ink levels, make sure each tank is at least one-third full because power cleaning consumes more ink to absorb, you can refill the ink first if needed. If you run power cleaning when an ink tank is less than one-third full, it may damage your printer. Okay guys, now click on the power ink flushing or power cleaning menu to start it. Click OK. Then click Start. This process takes about 5 minutes, so I'm going to speed this video up. Okay guys, it's finished, as indicated by the printer power light not flashing. Now we do a nozzle check to see the results. If you still see gaps in the pattern, Leave the printer for 12 hours, then do a nozzle check, and if you get gaps in the pattern, do head cleaning and power cleaning once. Okay guys, and here are the results. All colors have been able to print, and there are no gaps in the pattern.